So, when I woke up this morning, I saw that my friend Mighty sent me a DM on Discord. He asked if I had seen the new Pokemon Journeys opening, which that kind of came out of nowhere. So I asked why, to which he ignored and abrasively told me to watch. He even sent a link without any further discussion to convince me to do so. I was convinced. After watching the video, oh my god, this opening is by far the most hype and satisfying opening of all time, and this is coming from a longtime fan of the Pokemon anime who has basically watched every single opening. Welcome, this is Pokefan, and today I'm going to go over the key things that you need to know that was teased in the latest opening of the Pokemon Journeys anime. I'm talking about Ash Greninja, Paul, confirmed in the Journeys anime, yep, all of that. Let's get right into it. Whether you've been closely following the Journeys anime, or have been occasionally looking at the big accomplishments from Ash and Go this time around, it is clear Journeys sort of feels like the culmination of their long journey. And I mean the culmination of over 20 years for our dear 10-year-old Ash Ketchum. This opening takes that feeling and runs with it. The opening begins with, well, the beginning of Ash and Go's journey. When that happens, you already know this is going to be an absolute banger. We can see Ash receiving his very friendly Pikachu and Go chasing the mythical Pokemon Mew as a kid. The opening then proceeds to show the dynamic duo through the various regions in chronological order, starting with Gen 1 and Kanto and ending with Gen 8 and Galar. Even if we forgot about Go Suicune, it's clear the writers have not. Lol. <laughs> I don't know why I said lol. <laughs> also, hey, look, it's Burnett and Kukui's house. The ending to Sun and Moon was great, yucking at me. Then we can see Go in typical XYZ fashion, kinda epic, but then we see Ash whipping out his Journeys team. Just to quickly note, bro, my man Ash decided to use an action replay, just like a certain trainer from the Sinnoh League, but look at my guy's wrists. He's rocking a Mega Bracelet, a Z-Ring, and a Dynamax Band. Clearly, Ash has had enough of losing in his past 20 years, because this guy is resorting to going all out. This is very epic, and oh my god, the team? Sorry, I'm saying oh my god a lot, because this opening is just, oh my god. <laughs> his team is definitely at its best overall, um, with the absolutely monstrous Gigantamax Gengar, Mega Lucario, Plot Armor Broken Dragonite, and the OG Pikachu. Oh, and competitively busted Dracovish, and I guess Sir Fetched. Oh yeah, Pikachu's Z-move and Ash's cap is gonna make a return. Let's Kamehameha this b Go returns to the spotlight in what looks like a Regiarch, which I'm pretty excited for. We have yet to see Regieliki and Drago in the anime, so that's pretty exciting. Also, Go and his rivals are looking kinda epic, clean, um, but Ash comes back cleaner. I'm so hyped for the eventual showdown between Ash and Leon. We learned that Chloe is gonna undergo some serious development, so kudos to her. It looks like a contest, performance, uh, I'm not sure, but judging from the outfit, which comes from the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire May outfit, hello, is May gonna return? Uh, and shout out to my friends on Discord for telling me this, but Eevee's accessory is the same as the, um, the one that Serena used on her Eevee. Pretty cool. Continuing with the opening, we get a quick shot of Team Rocket, but then, oh boy, here's where the opening just dropped the bomb. We see the return of Gary. Cool, sick. Uh, we get to see his Arcanine, Umbreon, that's awesome. The Alola gang? Cool. Wait, wait, with Lily and Gladion? That's right, it's about darn time, but hey, say you aren't a Sun and Moon fan, that's okay. This opening has more. more. Wallace makes a return, cool. Iris, the champion of Unova, makes a return, too? Okay. Oh, still not satisfied? You didn't like black and white? Okay. Marnie? No? Clement and Bonnie? Yeah, I miss these two fellows, too. Oh, yeah, and Paul comes. Huh, what? Huh? Paul? The best rival Ash Ketchum? Paul? That Paul? No way! Oh my god! Of course, this is in my opinion. Um, but anyways, yeah, Paul from the Sinnoh Saga is gonna make a return. I don't think there is a rival battle more hype than with Paul. I stand by that in the past, as a kid, and now. Seriously, this shot looks so freaking epic. Oh my god. Does this mean Paul is gonna be in the World Coronation series? You know, with Ash being probably one battle away from the Master Class, Paul would make the perfect opponent to test Ash's capabilities before facing the absolute juggernauts of Leon, Lance, or Cynthia. Honestly, this, this anime is just building- Oh, I'm so stoked. Tokyo makes a cameo appearance, and then... And then... Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this absolutely broke the internet. Or at least it broke my brain. Greninja makes its entrance in Greninja- 
Greninja makes its entrance in Greninja fashion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. It's Greninja! We have, we've been waiting for this moment since the Sun and Moon anime. Since Ash Greninja was announced as a mystery gift in the Sun and Moon games. <sighs> Anyways, it would be exciting to see how Ash and Greninja's reunion will be handled. I would hope for at least one epic battle with Ash using Greninja. Um, but I doubt Greninja will become like a staple member uh, in Ash's current roster. Though time will tell. And enough of the reunions and fan service, but oh my god. That clip with Gigantamax Charizard versus Mega Lucario. Dude, that Aura Sphere looks absolutely ravishing. I can't wait for that showdown. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I've been this hyped for Ash to go against the quote-unquote final boss. Oh my god. Well, that's pretty much it for what was teased in the Journeys opening. Let me know if you'd like for me to do more content like this in the comments down below. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. That would mean the Pokemon world. Thanks for watching.